Now, the next speaker is uh, a really interesting chap. He's part of a, a mastermind group that I work with. And uh, he's an entrepreneur who runs a fitness startup. Now, he quit his cushy IT job to start this business. Uh, something you might not know about Joshua is that he once landed a job when he was half asleep in the interview. This man is so good he didn't get a job when he's half asleep. <laughs> now, uh, the title of his talk is Entrepreneurship and Who the Hell Are You? Please join me in welcome to the stage the fully awake Joshua. <laughs> Hey guys, hey, just a quick disclaimer, I haven't started the fitness startup yet, we're still pre-stage, but that's my, that's my pivot, which you're going to hear more about. So thank you very much for having me, thanks for the intro, thank you. Pony, so just a quick one, the reason I've named this talk Entrepreneurship and Who the Hell Are You is because I think we all kind of believe, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be wrong to say we all have that quite a large confidence that we know ourselves. And when I left my IT job uh, just over two months ago, I had a very clear picture. I know who Josh is, I know who I am, and I know what I want to do. So the re where, where my talk gets a bit confusing, for me anyway, and why I've come to believe and understand how important self-awareness is, is really when things go wrong. When you start to face a few hiccups, you say you're going to meet someone at 9 o'clock, or you've got meant to be at a workspace for 9 o'clock, and you get up at 1, 1 p.m., you, quite, you start to question, you know, how committed am I? Am I really interested in making it? And when you start to go online and look at all the facts and the figures associated with the number of startups that fail, you really start to internalise and worry. So the reason why I've named my talk, Entrepreneurship, Who the Hell Are You? is because I've really learned in this 60-day period when I left my job, went to start a startup, and I've pivoted onto a new idea, which I'm actually quite interested in now, I've learned a lot about myself. And the first thing that I really learned is that as mighty and powerful as I might believe I am, and I'm not trying to be low in self-esteem or something crazy like that, or doubt yourself, habits is what's kept me going. I've really learned this concept of how important a habit is. So I've downloaded this app. I downloaded an app called Balanced. And the sole purpose of this application on my phone is to help me track when I do something. And I've found that me waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning and flicking this app to say I've done it has really got me excited. I wake up, I'm like, oh, app. <laughs> I literally wake up, and I, before I think about my lovely porridge with peanut butter, that's a fitness tip, I <laughs> flick my application. And that's the thing that's really opened my eyes to, that I've, grown, I've become a lot more self-aware that, yes, I'm going to make it, and yes, we can do this. Now, if you agree, put your hand up, you're going to make it, right? You're, the habits is what's going to drive you forward, right? And I, I like the bit when he mentioned about the reds in the room and the yellows and the blues and the greens. So the reds would cheer, right? The yellows would probably smile and high-five their neighbour. The greens, on the other hand, might probably think about their sister. And, and the blues, I hope that you make a nice spreadsheet on your phone while you're, while you're listening. <laughs> and the second point I really want to get onto is fantastic. You understand you might have some weaknesses and you're building habits to really solve these problems. The thing that I also picked up in this process is really how much there is to learn. Like, I left my job and I said, you know what, I'm going to go out into this entrepreneurial world and I'm going to really conquer. And I began to realise from simply talking to other entrepreneurs, other people in business, how much tools are available, how valuable it is to start reading, how much tricks, you know, how much knowledge is out there that from simply reading the book really does make a difference. So I started reading a book called Creativity Inc. And the reason why I read this book, because it really talks about why teams and people can face unforeseeable failure in the pursuit of creativity. So this is just my example of saying, I've been reading this book and I've learned so much, I've been so much more inspired. And it's part of the reason why I'm pivoting. So there's a key phrase in the book, which really talks about, you've got to do what you love. Right? You've got to do what you love. And I've started looking at myself and what do I enjoy? I kind of enjoy going to the gym, which is, thank you for the title, Top Elliot, it's helping my pitch right now. He bought, I borrowed the shirt, lovely. And I've realised I quite enjoy fitness. And this is why I've really come to, I've really come to conclude and the, the key thing I'd like you to take away from my topic is when it comes to entrepreneurship, who the hell are you? The only way you find out who the hell are you is when you get out of your comfort zone. I'm probably, I'm damn certain that if I, if I stayed in my job 
and I just continue staying comfortable and played with my dreams at, from a distance instead of jumping right at it, I would never have learned how much I need to grow and I would never have felt so determined to start buying books, investing, meeting new people and growing as a person. Thank you very much. the sound of the app actually i'm gonna have to down if i can get biceps like you from the app then... <laughs> <laughs> free stage free stage <laughs> judges please fantastic job josh i loved your energy and your enthusiasm and you had everybody laughing along with you but your enthusiasm was so really it was going really really fast and i was having trouble keeping up okay <laughs> so i loved it i absolutely loved it but i think you lost a little bit because for me anybody i don't know if anybody else agrees with me but i felt that I could just slow it down and emphasise the points, because the points seem to hop from one to another mm -hmm. without you really allowing them to land with people. And you made some really good points, and just to slow it down a bit and l maybe repeat one and land it, and then segue into the other rather than hop along okay. in that way. But fantastic job. I could see everybody really enjoying it, and you engaged absolutely everybody in the room. Thank you. Um, I agree as well. Uh, remember when I was up there before, the first thing I said is three things. Mm -hmm. And a few people have asked me about that in the break. Three things. And we knew you were coming up with a fitness business. We knew you were coming up with a topic, thanks to James introducing you, going, entrepreneurs, who the hell are you? But w that's what we knew. But then when it started, it was just, like it was just everything, everything. everything. The enthusiasm is fantastic, but it would be so much better if you sort of said, thank you so much, James. In th you know, entrepreneurs, who the hell are you? What I want to talk to you about, and what the reason I'm, the reason I'm up here, because okay. there was no structure, there was no reason. If people can understand and find out very quickly why you're standing here and what you're going to talk about, because you, you're naturally going to have that personality. You're always going to be up, enthusiastic, talking 100 miles an hour. That will be impossible to really ever you know, do too much with your enthusiasm is your, is your biggest asset. So all you need, so I'm not saying don't, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. saying don't change, slow it down slightly, but if you can explain it from the beginning, this is why I'm here, one, two, three, this is what I'm gonna talk to you about, even if it's just one or two, doesn't mm -hmm. matter, maximum three, then people are ready to be, yep, get set, let's go, I know what I'm ready to expect. Okay. Yeah? Great. Great shirt. Okay. <laughs> um, so some things I've to add to the other judges. Um, so yes, pace, slow down, let us process it, your tonality. So with your enthusiasm, what we need to work with next in your training is all of this. Continuous. Arms are going. And it's like we need to start controlling this a bit more because after a while it literally becomes distracting, right? And that's kind of what you're doing with your hands all the time. Okay. And there's no break. I'm like, put your hands down, and they're still going. And you're still talking, and they're still going. I'm like, put them down. Got it? OK, good. So that's a big thing. They're down, they're down. They're, they're down. down. He's they're like, down. Yes, they're down. But it's very much, it's using, the, it, you, you can really use hands with impact, and there's ways to do it when you're telling things or making a point. But at times, we need to learn to pull you back while keeping the enthusiasm. We mm -hmm. don't want to lose that. The other thing is I wrote down is there's lots of I, 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 okay. I, I. Remember, Nick always says, go through your talk, count how many eyes there are in that, mm -hmm. and see how you can turn them into you, or how many of you, and relate that into questions. So it's a very, it's a good beginning of a talk, but it's very much about you. So the audience is sitting going, what about me? Hmm. Yeah. So you are, you're very engaging, you're naturally engaging, which is why people go with you on this journey, because you draw us in. So naturally people buy into you. But to add value, which is your next level, is taking it to them. What's in it for them? Who the hell are you? Great. No, who are you? And really push that at us. Who are you not? Is something I always say to people. So. Mm -hmm. But really good. I mean, again, we're stretching you now. We're, we're stretching, you've quite a bit, I'm going to sit down. Okay, good. <laughs> right. <laughs> Another round of applause, please.